think we need to be honest or find a way to be honest about what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys and Cam Newton. In addition to nothing, Mike Fisher reporting from Cowboys headquarters inside the star in Frisco. And of course, uh, many, many reports that connected the Cowboys to Cam Newton after his release from New England. Some of the reports understandable because the Cowboys backup quarterback situation is, um, remains awful behind Dak Prescott. Some of the stuff completely made up and bogus and you're just trying to put Dallas Cowboys and Cam Newton in the same headline because boy oh boy isn't that uh, clickable. Josina Anderson got a lot of traction and I respect Josina very much and know her. Got a lot of traction out of tweeting that there was a connection there. But the only real connection is the Cowboys were doing their due diligence like they do on everybody. They also did their due diligence on Garrett Gilbert, Jeff Driscoll, Will Greer, Ben DiNucci, Cooper Rush, on and on and on and on. I would suggest that there's got to be some reason, and it's not because Cam Newton is a jackass, there's got to be some reason that the Cowboys said no to him, and that is what they're saying, and I'll get to Mike McCarthy's quote in a moment. Said no to him and said yes to Will Greer, and are continuing to say yes to Cooper Rush. And where I'm going to go with this is take us to New England. Why isn't he New England's backup quarterback? They know him better than anybody, and Bill Belichick swears he's a quality player, quality guy, quality teammate. Why wouldn't you make him your number two quarterback in New England where you already have him? And my theory is because the people that know Cam Newton know that he's not ready to be a backup. It doesn't make him a diva. It doesn't make him a jerk. In fact, again, the quarterbacks in the league look up to Cam Newton. They're friends with Cam Newton. Um, I think that was true in New England. Uh, I know that uh, Deshaun Watson feels that way. I bet you Dak Prescott does too. So it's not that he's a bad guy or a bad teammate. It's that he wants to be the quarterback. And we've seen that experience work and not work here, uh, as I've told you many times. Uh, uh, Steve Berline, friend of the show. Troy Aikman, friend of the show. And they were friendly enough, but Aikman didn't like having a competitor in the quarterback room with him. He just thought that impeded his progress. He, he needed somebody to be a supportive big brother sounding board. Uh, to this day, he's close friends with Jason Garrett and Babe Offenberg because they offered that. Uh, and Steve Berline, that wasn't what he came here for. Steve Berline got traded from the Raiders to Dallas and came here thinking, I'm going to beat out that kid. Thought that was his job. I think Cam Newton thinks that's his job too. And in Dallas, that's not what they want. Here's the quote that I think offers as much clarity as you're going to get. We asked Mike McCarthy about this this week, and he said, I had a chance to compete against Cam. I've had a chance to watch some of his tape in New England. That means that they did indeed do their due diligence. And I think he's got a ton of football left. It's a very respectful thing to say. But we're very excited about the group of quarterbacks we have here. And of course, if you include Dak Prescott in the group, yes, you get to be excited about it. If you're including the four of them here as we speak, collectively, that's not as exciting as Cam Newton. But this is not fantasy football. That is a, an infamous quote that Mike McCarthy gave when we asked him a year ago about moving Zach Martin to tackle. He said, well, it's not, this isn't fantasy football, really kind of belittling the question. And he's, he was wrong, especially since they eventually moved Zach Martin to tackle. But this is about chemistry. Uh, assembling your quarterback room is about, you can't just take the, the four best players necessarily. Uh, each guy's got to have a role. Each guy's got to have a place. I think inarguably, if you got to, uh, if you got to Tampa and Dak Prescott got hurt at halftime and you could pick anyone available on the street or in your locker room to come play quarterback in the second half and win the game, there's no question you would take, go up into row five of the stands and tell Cam Newton, here, here's a jersey, come play. And you would be more likely to win that game than you would with Cooper Rush and Will Greer. He is that, even though he's not a very good passer and never has been, he is a unique weapon in that way. Cam Newton would come into that game and run for a game-winning touchdown, in theory. That's what he does best, and he did that in New England. That's not what they need here in their mind. At least they're being honest about it. The due diligence wasn't anything special. The honest quote from Mike McCarthy is something special. And if Cam Newton gets a chance to start somewhere in the NFL, maybe he can again be something special too. Inside Cowboys headquarters, Fish out.